what is going on Evan Almighty 23 coming at you with a new video and I am psyched because right now my city my state is getting hit by a blizzard a huge blizzard and I love I love when we get blizzards you know it's just exciting for me I'm, I'm the kind of person who just loves snow some people hate it some people love it well I love it and um, and yeah it's pretty awesome you know I love it's bad bad roads um everything's closing and you know I love I love that feeling of a storm coming <laughs> but I want to tell you guys back I want to tell you guys a story all right so back in it's about a blizzard probably the worst blizzard it's the worst blizzard that in my lifetime that I've been a part of I was probably back in ooh, way back in seventh eighth grade probably seventh grade and um, my parents were going out of town for a weekend and my aunt was I was staying with my aunt and my cousin for the weekend and you know I love hanging out with them because you know my aunt's super cool but my cousin he's my age too and he's like my best friend you know, you know he is like my best friend I went over to their house pretty much every Friday you know it was almost automatic you know it was a routine my aunt would come home from work you know pick me up take me you know and I'd stay the night there you know every Friday um, back in seventh eighth grade and this time I was staying for a whole weekend so me and my cousin were both pretty pumped but this Friday you know a huge storm was supposed to hit the Friday you know she was my parents were going out of town for the weekend and um, it was supposed to be huge like, it was supposed to be really bad and it was <laughs> so we go to bed that Friday it's probably you know what one one in the morning and you know we look outside and it's getting pretty bad like it, it was already bad on the like the whole way there it has just been tons of snow coming down but then we wake up the next morning and we we look out the window and he has a table out in his backyard all right and it is filled with snow, like two feet of snow on this table and we didn't even realize until we went outside we opened his his door it's like a side door we open it and there's like snow piled up halfway up his door and we're like what the heck like we had never seen anything like this I still haven't you know to this day haven't seen anything like it since but you know there's all this snow and we you know, my cousin and I wanted to play basketball and he had a basketball hoop in his backyard and so basically we got shovels and we dug a tunnel to his basketball court and then when we got to the basketball court we dug, you know, a big square, you know, around the basketball court so we could play basketball. Because that's, me and my cousin were always playing basketball. Um, and he lived, he lived in a really rough neighborhood. <laughs> he lived in the ghetto. Um, but I liked the, I kind of liked my cousin's neighborhood. I liked the ghetto because a lot of those kids, um, they were real cool. They were fun, you know, to hang out with. And um, they were always... You know their families weren't too rich, so they didn't really have much of the entertainment inside their house. So they were always, you know, coming out to play basketball with us. So we were always playing basketball and having a lot of fun. And so I remember they had come over, and uh, we were playing basketball with them. I still remember his name. One was Wheezy, <laughs> and one was well, one of them, the the second one. I'm not gonna say his name because unfortunately, um, he. Like in the past, he's getting tried right now. He's probably going to be in prison the rest of his life. And I'm not, like, he wasn't a bad kid when I knew him. I still I still don't think he's a bad person. You know, I don't even know what happened. But he was probably the nicest, you know, kid. But now, you know, he's going to prison probably the rest of his life, unfortunately. That's kind of sad you know, for my cousin and I because we knew him. We played basketball with him. And, you know, never even expected that he would, he would, ever do anything like he did but you know I'm not even going to talk anymore on that um but you know we had a lot of fun you know playing basketball and that's just, it's just a great it was a great feeling back in the day you know except if I have any subs this is a message to my subscribers eighth grade or younger enjoy every single bit of your childhood every single bit of where you're at um in your life because it's going to be the best time 
of, of your life because you're at the, you're you're at the part of your life where you still have responsibilities but you don't have nearly as many responsibilities as you will have like you'll get to a point where all your friends will have jobs and it sucks <laughs> it really does because you like, yo yo you want to kick it tonight no i can't got to work um you want then they'll be like oh you want to tomorrow I'll be like oh no i got to work so it just goes like that it, it's tough so enjoy your life you know i love i love those times when you know i didn't have responsibility i was able to you know play you know a couple hundred games of Madden a year i was able to hang out with my friends all the time every weekend all weekend you know i was able to go over to my cousins every weekend now it's tough you know my cousin you know he's probably the closest person to me that i know closer than you know anyone that i know and he has a job i have a job and it's tough for us to you know hang out as much as we used to because you know we're always so busy and it is unfortunate um but so i'm just telling you guys all my younger subs anyone younger watching this video anyone watching this video please you know embrace your childhood enjoy it while you have it uh because you'll want it later you know and just embrace every moment of your life and um so I hope you guys enjoyed that story. You know, that was just a great memory that I remember uh, from from my childhood. And I remember, <laughs> I'm going to add a part of the story that I didn't add before. Um, actually, this is funny too. We went to shovel his driveway and he shared a driveway with his neighbor. And we were actually, um, we were actually... <laughs> shoveling his driveway and we put it all in his neighbor's side and his neighbor came out and s <laughs> knocked on our door and he was screaming at us and we had to shovel it all out so we weren't really behaved but <laughs> we really really didn't know that much better you know we didn't really know better i mean we were in seventh grade but i guess we weren't really thinking but hope you guys enjoyed the video and until next time peace